The following video will show you how to put the temperature sensor in the sample and engage sample feedback such that the temperature that the Takai hit sets is calibrated to the actual temperature inside the sample. So for this, you'll need this temperature sensor. If you look carefully at the tip of the temperature sensor, you'll see it has an L-shaped uh, metal rod out of which protrudes a small metal wire, and the amount of wire that protrudes out of there is controllable by pulling or pushing on this uh, plastic hose. So what we want is for that to be uh, kind of protruding enough that when we insert this sideways into the sample, it's actually in the media and not uh, in midair. Uh, so that depends a little bit on the sample you have. I have a 35 millimeter dish. I think this will be enough, but if not, I can adjust it uh, on the microscope itself. Uh, let me show you how to do that. So remember that when you put the temperature sensor on, there's gonna be a wire coming in through one of these ports and then through this port here. So we need to make sure that uh, there's actually room for things to go in. So if you look at these ports, you'll see that they have these magnets that can block them. And so depending on the position of these magnets, these ports will either be closed, as is the case right now, or open, as is the case now. And you can see that these symbols indicate that now it's open. So you can see if you look closely at the magnets, they have one side that blocks. So if you flip them around, you either block or open those holes. So right now, for example, that one is open. And so we could insert, we could thread that sensor through here, and then we would need to open up this port and thread it and put it inside the sample itself. So I'm gonna do that now and show you what it looks like. So here I have the temperature sensor. I need to put it into the Takai hit. I'm gonna remove that. And you can choose other ones to put it in through. Um, and actually, given the diameter of this, it might be wiser to put it in through this one. Yeah, that'll be sufficient. So I'm gonna lift the lid. And here's where the magic happens. What we want is for that to go in there and to be immersed in the media. And if you want to control the temperature really carefully, you want it to be as close to where you're imaging as possible, so cut it closer to the middle. Then we can put this lid on. If you notice, uh, it kind of flew back, so it has a lot of tension, uh, which can't, and it can't be held sufficiently with this lid. So if you're in a situation like that, uh, it might be wise to use some more blue tack to hold this in position. So I'll show you what that looks like. So what I've done here is made a little pedestal out of blue tack and placed it in there. And now everything is held firmly into position. I'm gonna put the uh, glass lid on and then I'm gonna um, put this in its corresponding groove and close it up. And now I can seal the whole thing up. Once the temperature sensor is in the sample, we will be able to keep track of the sample temperature here. So that is now not the sample of the sensor just uh, in some random location, but actually in the sample. So it's a little bit surprising that it's that low, but you can see it's slowly rising, so it could be equilibrating. That said, if you see that this number seems suspiciously low or room temperature, it's worth taking another look to making sure that that wire is actually in the sample media. And you can see in this case, uh, let me just take the lid off so you can see a little bit better, that it is indeed immersed in the liquid. And that's a little bit easier to see by eye. So that is the temperature right there. And what we want is for that temperature to be 37. Uh, that's the whole reason we put the sensor in there, to, to get real-time feedback and adjust based on that feedback. So to turn that on, we're gonna click here where it says feedback push that button and now what it's doing is it's adjusting the temperature of the top heater so that the sample temperature mat matches the set point for the sample temperature which is 37. That's going to take a while and how long depends on how much media you have um, and, and sort of the exact uh, shape of your uh, of your sample whether you're using uh, 
an oil objective or not. So all of those things go into uh, how long it's going to take, and it's empirical. So you'll need to uh, kind of sit here, wait, and figure it out uh, how long it takes for the sample to equilibrate.